Yeah, so this is the view from Palo Verde Sustainable Hotel again. And I'm going to walk and show you as we get towards the ocean what the view looks like. And this will be one of the hotels that will be available for our tour with Utropia Tours. We're going to bring people here to look at the Bitcoin economy, see what the future is looking like as El Salvador is way ahead of the curve. And people can look at what the opportunities are in El Salvador as investors. The key is to get in early and El Salvador being the first country to make Bitcoin legal tender. It's a good idea to come check this place out. So we are here at Palo Verde Sustainable Hotel. I am with a lovely person from El Salvador who works at the hotel. And this is one of the hotels at Bitcoin Beach. And at the hotel, um, they accept Bitcoin here. So what I want to do is be able to ask some questions about the whole Bitcoin adoption. So we are going to get started with a quick interview in a second. Okay. 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 Hello, can you tell me your name? Uh, my name's Helen. Okay, Helen. And uh, what is your title at this hotel? Uh, so I work here from July. Okay. Yes. Um, when I started here, I know they upset Bitcoin. Okay. Okay, Bitcoin is upsetting around El Sonte. Okay. And we started to to accept it because okay. it was around the uh, around the country. Uh -huh. uh, something that with the new love. Okay. About government, government, and so okay. people started to ask, uh, "Do you accept Bitcoin?" Okay. So we have to start to use it. Mm -hmm. We we started to use, and some people was uh, happy because they wanted to to pay with Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. We use um, Open Note app. Okay. Yes, and the that is. Uh, it is also uh, it is com com compatible compatible yeah compatible with a lot of, of wallet okay uh, we usually don't have problems to make a payment okay. with other wallet okay uh, so that is really useful okay what is the name of the app that you use uh, open note open note so open i know note. that there's different apps like strike yeah, there's the bitcoin the beach wallet and also the moon wallet I know yes. that they use here, but the preference here is the, the other one that you were talking about. And yes, uh, at the moment we, we only use Open Note. Open and, Note. And it works very well. It works very yes. well. Okay. Uh, we can uh, make a payment on in Lightning mm -hmm. and on chain. Okay, on, yes. on chain and then on the Lightning network yes. as well. And for people who don't know, the Lightning network is a second layer protocol off of the Bitcoin chain, which makes payments um, instantaneous. So do you also, if I have Strike, can I still make a Bitcoin payment yes. to you? Yes. Okay, because it's compatible with yes, the compatible Open Node. With the open. Okay, are you finding that there's a lot more tourists coming here because of Bitcoin? Uh, sorry? Do you find, are you finding that um, tourists are coming here for Bitcoin? Yes, a lot of people is coming here because we accept Bitcoin. Because okay. they want to pay in Bitcoin, uh -huh. and uh, that's why they come. Okay. Uh, or um, sometimes they want to know how Bitcoin works in El Zonte. Oh, okay, so, in El Zonte. In yes. El Zonte and in our hotel. Yes. Are you seeing more people coming? Are you yes, seeing more? more yes. More people coming. Yes. Okay. And so, as a citizen of El Salvador, for you personally, how do you see how benefit? the benefit of Bitcoin. Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a good thing because there is another way to help people. Uh, some people don't know how to use that mm -hmm. or maybe they are afraid to mm -hmm. use Bitcoin mm -hmm. because they don't know about it. Right, they don't know about yes, it. Uh, I think they need to have the knowledge 
about how Bitcoin works. Yes. But I think it's something good uh -huh. because the, that can open yes. uh, doors for other people. And, um, Did the government explain uh, about Bitcoin, about how it, over time the price keeps getting better so if you save in Bitcoin you're going to make more money? Yes, uh, that is something to like make and invest, mm -hmm. to invest. So when Bitcoin goes up, mm -hmm. that is some good, but sometimes uh, like some days ago mm -hmm. it, it goes down. down yes but i think that is uh, how it works yes sometimes it goes up and yes. sometimes it goes down yes but in and um if i would be able to show you a, a chart it it will go up it will go down but over time it's always going up yeah. right so i'll give you an example so you let's say you get paid in bitcoin you could take some of the bitcoin and keep it and then convert it to US dollars for your spending for whatever you need to spend out in the world you know you need to go to grocery you need to buy food you need to pay your rent those things but then you can keep some of it in Bitcoin and if five years ago you saved a thousand dollars which is it's like a meal here right that's a yes, thousand yes if you save a thousand dollars of Bitcoin five years ago right now that money in November, last November, when Bitcoin was 60000 you would have $70,000 if you save $1,000 five years ago. Now Bitcoin is, because Bitcoin was $900 five years ago. So now, I think right now it's around $36,000. So if you would have saved that money, $1,000 five years ago, you would have $36,000 today. $1,000. Yes, so... I saved $1,000 years ago, now it's It would be $36,000. Yes. That's a good thing. Yes, that is <laughs> yes. a good thing. So I think we have to take advantage about that. When that is uh, up, down, mm -hmm. up, up, it's going up, mm -hmm. oh, we can do the to save it yes and more years it yes. will be more yes than, exactly than so that. my calculations that i've done is in the next five to ten years the average citizen of el salvador will be some of the wealthiest people on earth <laughs> serious yes, yes serious but uh, i think people have to know how yes Bitcoin works. yes uh, to have the knowledge yes. and, and how to, to make the investment. Right. Yes. There has to be some education. Yes. Okay, because I've talked to people here and a lot of them, even in Bitcoin Beach, the average person, they didn't know that Bitcoin price would keep going up. And if they, they would have saved $1,000 five years ago, it would be $36,000. And when I told them, they said, what? They couldn't they, believe it. They like surprised. Yeah, they were very surprised because at first he said, Bitcoin, I don't know, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. But when I explained it to him, that if you would have saved the money as US dollars, the $1,000 five years ago, right now can't buy the same amount of five years because things are more expensive. Yes. Food is more expensive. Uh, electricity is more expensive right so now you're spending power for the same one thousand dollars that you save if you keep it in US dollars it will be even less than one thousand dollars five years from now but if you did five years ago it would have been a thousand dollars in Bitcoin it would be over 36 that would be close to forty thousand dollars now that's why it's so important that when people receive in Bitcoin they keep as much Bitcoin as they can. So I think it's very good for El Salvador and the rest of the world is watching. And El Salvador is very important right now. <laughs> yes, there is something around the world. Yes. It's like the country is tired to use Bitcoin, but and the whole country. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, before the government uh, it's tired to talk about Bitcoin. I know in El Sonte, 
they they have become they mm -hmm. accept it yes before the government yes, yes. but it wasn't was like uh, something that uh, a lot of people know right but. yes 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 so does El Salvador being in the news and it's very positive news a lot of people come in when I was on the airplane from Florida coming a lot of people were coming for Bitcoin so does it the whole the new development of Bitcoin in El Salvador and now El Salvador is the leader in the world's number one in the world for Bitcoin in the development of Bitcoin for an economy does that make you feel proud of El Salvador <laughs> Yes, it makes uh, it makes me proud because we live here, and it means we are growing as a country. Mm -hmm. We are uh, uh, we go step by step to be on the top. Great, great. So, so what is your name? My name is Helen. Helen. Okay, and you work here yes yes okay yes, I at work here, uh, in front desk front desk okay yes. of palo verde palo okay verde. so what can you tell people about your hotel what's nice about the hotel <laughs> uh, our hotel is a nice place to enjoy with family or friends or your couple mm -hmm. is uh, you can feel the lovely uh, and a good vibe mm -hmm. of, yeah. of our people, uh, our staff, okay. and also our room is really comfortable okay. and you will find what you are looking for. Okay, great. Thank you for talking and answering my questions. Okay. All right. Thank you. Gracias. So yeah, everything was too up close, so give you a better view of what it looks like. So this is Palo Verde, I'll give you a good shot of the infinity pool, place where you can rest and chill, full of vibes, you know, these are all lodging quarters, places where people sleep, it's a little bit over a hundred dollars a day to stay here, about a hundred and ten, hundred and twenty dollars a day but this is what you get that's what it looks like beautiful that is palo verde okay